All right, Arise political editor and director of news, Somna Sambo, joins us now to discuss uh, this political development. Somna, it's good to see you again. It's Thank been a while so on news night. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's begin uh, with uh, Bukola Saraki's declaration of intention uh, to be president in 2023. Well, he says, North Central has performed. It is time to produce the president, and we've worked hard for the unity of Nigeria. Is that the reason why we should hand it over to him? in 2023 well not necessarily him but i think he's making a very strong point that the north central should not be left out of the conversation ahead of 2023 because there's been a sort of deliberate attempt actually to push the north central away from the discourse um, when it comes to 2023 because if you if if i may take your mind backwards when the pdp was talking about where it will zone its national chairmanship. Mm -hmm. There was this deliberate attempt to say it should go to the North Central. It should go to the North, North Central. Well, the Saraki but camp was not in support of it. Yes, this. and it was a ploy, actually, by those from the Northwest to ensure that it goes to the North Central. Ask yourself, the North Central has produced more PDP national chairmanship mm -hmm. than the Northeast and Northwest. So why not the Northwest? The Northwest has produced two national chairmen of PDP. Hali Rubello and uh, uh, Amel Makarfi. Mm -hmm. And the Northeast uh, produce uh, uh, two also. So if, if, if that's the case, uh, sorry, Moazu alone, if that is the case, then why was that emphasis so much on the North Central? The idea was to actually skim the North Central oh. away from 2023 and allow it to have the national chairmanship of the PDP. So now the Northeast has produced... Uh, two national chairmanship, actually, let me correct myself here, because we had Bamanga, Bamanga Tuku and then uh, Moazu yeah, so Bauchi State, from Bauchi yes. State. Mm. So, and then you've had two in the, uh, in the North uh, West. So, if that is the case, the idea of Saraki's group in the PDP is to say, look, we may have this national chairmanship again, but you must allow us to contest for 2023 presidential ticket in the PDP. And so it is after that that you could see a Kau Baraje coming out to say, look, even if you are giving us an IU, still make it clear that we still have the right to vie for presidential mm. ticket. All right. Well, I'm, I'm interested in two things um, that you will uh, throw light on. One, what is the significance of his, his, his showing his intention or declaring his intention? And he goes to do that in a Benue state where you have the governor, Autumn, as, as the governor there. And then secondly, it, it sounds, I don't know whether it's a rhetoric or, I don't know, but he says, let's vote for a party that has put its house in, in order. order. And I'm thinking, which is that party? Is it PDP? Well, that's well what he's referring to the PDP. <laughs> Let me just start from that last question. <laughs> well, the PDP, according to him, seems to have put its house in order by bringing an Yocha Ayu out. Mm -hmm. You could see how they were able to manage that situation. That discussion began from the same North Central, then it now went to the Northern Caucus, and then eventually Ayu was brought out as a consensus candidate of the party, being accepted by all parts of the country. Yeah. Now, they think that by doing that, uh, elective convention in a consensus manner that a whole lot of Nigerians have now accepted the PDP as a party that's well organized. Coming to your other question on Benue, Benue State seems to be the home of the North Central alongside Plateau. It used to be called Benue Plateau, Plateau before. Plateau State, so whatever yeah. happens in what's politically called the Middle Belt, it happens between Benue and Plateau State. So Saraki needed to go to Benue to actually form this alliance with Otom and to let Otom know that he is behind IU, and then to follow up on what IU has said. Remember, IU had said after his emergence that even though he has been elected national chairman of PDP, mm -hmm. that if the time comes that a presidential candidate uh, uh, comes out from the north, yeah. that he's willing to step down. So it looks like there's an agreement between Otom and Bukola Saraki that look, I will come out from the zone, and eventually when I do, he should be able to step back. That is, Ayu should right. step back. So, in, in the from whole... From being the chairman of the yeah, party. Yeah, from being he the chairman. Made that statement. Because you cannot yeah. have the chairman and the, uh, and the presidential candidate of the from party the coming from the same zone. Mm. In all of this, what Nigerians must understand is that 
the, the North Central or Middle Belt has never produced a democratically elected president or vice president. Will all of this stand him in good stead? I mean, what are his chances of emerging? Well, and the, the if he does emerge, what will a Saraki presidency even look like? Look like what well, will he bring to the in, table? Interesting, Saraki seems to be selling himself as the bridge between northern and southern Nigeria because Kwara State is deemed to be at times politically in the south if you are playing ethno mm -hmm. religious conflict but when that's it comes when the yes comes up. that's where the, the bukola comes up and you could see his father the late uh, uh, uh olushola saraki yeah. in those days when he used to contest for presidential ticket he would print two posters one in the north oh, he will be wearing a yoruba attire. So he uh, sorry, that he's he will be wearing a northern attire and then calling himself by this same abuba right, right. and then the other one in the south you see him wearing yoruba. A, a yoruba outfit so Thumbs I mean, it says a lot you. about his son, uh, Bukor uh, Bukola Saraki, uh, as he beats for it. Yeah, okay. Samba Samba. That, that's interesting.